The Unified Vehicular Volume Reduction Program, UVVRP, commonly called number coding or color coding, is a road space rationing program in the Philippines that aims to reduce traffic congestion, in particular during peak hours, by restricting the types of vehicles that can use major public roads based on the final digit of the vehicle's license plate. First implemented in 1995 in Metro Manila, the program has also been implemented in Metro Baguio, Cabanatuan, and Dagupan. History The Unified Vehicular Volume Reduction Program was the culmination of two plans devised in the mid-1990s to help resolve the issue of heavy traffic congestion in Metro Manila, which by then was the subject of much complaint among motorists, by restricting the number of vehicles on the road. Although it was first implemented in 1995, the UVVRP in its current form dates back to 1996. The traffic situation in Metro Manila and initial impetus 1995. The original UVVRP was conceived by Col. Romeo Maganto, who served as the executive director of the Metropolitan Manila Development Authority. S. Traffic Management Office. First implemented in October 1995 on an experimental basis, it initially targeted public utility vehicles, later expanding to all vehicles plying Epifanio de los Santos Avenue EDSA, where traffic congestion in Metro Manila was at its heaviest. Vehicles covered under the original UV VRP were banned from EDSA for the entire day based on the last digit of a vehicle. S license plate, similar to the current UV VRP, on November 6, 1995, upon the urging of public transport groups, Maganto expanded the UV VRP to include all vehicles on most Metro Manila roads in an attempt to prevent rat running, which caused private vehicular traffic to use secondary roads alongside jeepneys. By this time, of the estimated 1.1 million motor vehicles then plying city roads, around 70% of those vehicles, which numbered around 800,000 were private vehicles, and the MMDA was under pressure to resolve Metro Manila's worsening traffic problems. The worsening traffic on secondary roads forced Maganto to implement a blanket ban on private vehicles as well, with the ban being implemented during rush hour from 7 o'clock to 9 a.m. and 5 o'clock to 7 p.m. The UV VRP, however, at this time was still largely voluntary, and while it was implemented by Maganto's office, the program did not have a legal basis in Metro Manila law. Mayors, in particular Jejomar Binay of Makati, were leery of the program, accusing Maganto of circumventing the Metro Manila Council, which sets policy for the MMDA, and with Maganto even threatening to resign if mayors did not support the plan. This was compounded by the fact that Maganto original scheme did not specify penalties for violations of the UV VRP, since penalties could only be imposed by the MMC. Tensions came to a head on November 21, 1995, when Senator Vicente Sato III had to appeal to Maganto and the mayors during a Senate hearing on the scheme to work together to resolve Metro Manila. S. Traffic problems. This changed when, on November 23, 1995, Chairman Prospero Areta signed MMDA Regulation No. 95001, which codified Maganto's scheme, and mandated that strict implementation of the program begin on December 1, 1995. The final version adopted by the MMDA combined elements of the original UV VRP and the partial ban implemented by Maganto for private vehicles, where vehicles with plate numbers ending in an odd number were to be barred from major streets in Metro Manila on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and vehicles with plate numbers ending in an even number were to barred on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, from 7 o'clock to 9 a.m. and 5 o'clock to 7 p.m. No total ban was mandated in the version passed by the MMC. This was the subject of much confusion and criticism on the first day of implementation, with motorists claiming that the new scheme did not significantly reduce traffic congestion, unlike Maganto's original scheme. Return to the original UV VRP, 1996-2003 
Although the UVVRP was implemented in the manner specified in MMDA Regulation 95001, the original UVVRP was re-implemented in early 1996, with Maganto announcing a 12-hour ban on vehicles plying EDSA depending on the final digit of the vehicle's license plate. Originally imposed due to rehabilitation works on the Guadalupe Bridge, the start of three major road projects resulted in the ban being extended to September in order to reduce the number of vehicles using EDSA to go around affected roads in Inner Manila, coexisting alongside the odd-even UV VRP which was implemented on all other roads. Current implementation the following table shows which plate number endings are barred from traveling in Metro Manila. As of November 2, 2016, UVVRP is currently implemented as follows. Applies from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. No window hours. Some differences apply for certain cities. See below. Applies to roads in Metro Manila. EDSA, C5 Road, and Roxas Boulevard have no window hours regardless of which city the driver is in. Public utility buses, city and provincial, do not have window hours. Motorcycles are completely exempted. The following are city-specific implementations. Makati, no window hours. Las Piñas, no window hours. Bandaluyong, no window hours Pasig, window hours from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., except in C5 Marikina, UVVRP not implemented Taguig, UVVRP not implemented, however it is enforced on the national roads within its boundaries, i.e. C5, East Service Road and Manuel L. Quezon. Muntinlupa, UVVRP not implemented Malabon, UVVRP not implemented, except in C4 Road and MacArthur Highway Parañaque, window hours from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. No window hours, and only on the roads below Barangay Don Bosco, San Antonio Avenue, Prez. Aguinaldo Street, Dominique Savio Street, Japan Saint, Michael Rua Street, and France Street Barangay Don Bosco, Doña Soledad Extension, Doña Soledad Avenue. Barangay Moonwalk, E. Rodriguez Street, East Service Road from Dr. Santos Avenue up to FTI Parañaque area. West Service Road from Dr. Santos Avenue up to Merville Park Subdivision Parañaque area. Pase, not implemented in the following roads. Ninoy Aquino Avenue Mia Road Domestic Road Airport Road Sales Road Portions of Bundia See also Road Space Rationing Odd Even Rationing Low emission zone Congestion pricing References Reflist, refs equals <laughs>